Chavez Chavez Crew, boy. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Detroit Monroe, and I'm with Chavez Crew Productions on Cloud Nine. All right. <laughs> Not your ordinary chick, everything is a stick on I ain't nothing like them bitches, them bitches ain't fucking with me Put a bitch in my position, best she fall, nigga <laughs> Gotta watch them bitches digging for your gold, nigga Don't need a nigga who remind me of my old nigga. No. Cut off that dead weight and let them know, nigga let me tell you That it's time to step it up on some boy shit Can't uh -huh. take them bitches with you or you bound to take some losses Now God. this some real shit, I'm just speaking from experience I let a bitch in, I should've never let her near me that was See, I got good sister. intentions cause you reap what you sow But I ain't Taking no shit, ain't going out like no hoe. Sophie twice, little bitch, before you fuck with my bro. I leveled up, but I was raised on motherfucking joy road. Don't come swerving in my lane, little bitch, and we won't crash. Don't make me chase you down and have to run up on that ass. I ain't ever looking for me, you can catch me in the lap. Some real niggas show me how to run me up a bag. You could tell when a bitch ain't had shit, she blow the back. You could tell when a bitch ain't had dick, can't throw it back. I'm a whole different breed, that's what you gotta know. I do my homework, and I take a lot of notes. So I know you a player, but don't try to run no game on me. I make the rules and I make you make it rain on me, nigga. You can sell a fairy tale for the free. Put your money where your mouth is. I'm charging you to speak, but and I'ma need inches just the conversation cheap. I hate to be this way, but that's how niggas see me. I remember where I started, ain't nobody put me on the hard work. Paid off, now they blowing up my phone. All I needed was a little support. They ain't believing me. Might as well sit in the section with all my enemies. Now I got my foot on the gas. I'm Making memories, it's my prime time. You bitches can't even speak to me. I try to put them off, they gon' feel me eventually. So when I take off, keep that same fucking energy. Real laid back, but I sit up real quick. What I ain't gon' do is argue over some dick. Tell that bitch, yo, get a bag. Slow feet, don't eat you fucking hams with no chicken, little bitch. Wrong me, they sleeping on me. All right, we got another episode in the books. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody on the channel? I am Detroit Monroe, y'all. I'm coming okay. from the west side of the D. Okay, what was it like uh, growing up in Detroit? Uh, kind of tough. Mm -hmm. um, we come from nothing, but that's kind of why I'm here. My goal is to come from nothing to something. I got you. I'm trying to upgrade my whole life, so. Yeah. So what do you think uh, differentiates Detroit? from other cities as far as the music scene goes? Um, you don't um, get a lot of support in Detroit? I don't. Like, in the beginning, the support was there because I felt like they thought I was going to make it overnight. Gotcha. And, you know, you really got it. Like, it don't happen overnight. You really got to put nice. the work in. It's going to take time. And so my whole thing, like, about that is I wanted a team, but I don't want just anybody. Gotcha. So what exactly are you looking for in a team? Like, if you're trying to get a team behind you? I need people that's loyal. People mm -hmm. that want to actually see me make it. Not just doing it to get something out of the deal. Like, people that genuinely want to see me be something. Because gotcha. what people don't get is, like, if you down for me, if you rolling with me the whole nine yards, like, we all win. Not just me. We mm -hmm. all win as a team. But some people just, they greedy. Like, they take, they take until they can you know, until they get yeah. everything they want and then they go on. I need somebody that's going to be there through the long haul, like the whole process. Facts. <laughs> so you, did you go through any, like, situations, like, when you first started, like, that, that kind of... Yeah, okay, so for one, like, in the beginning of this, I didn't know shit about this. Mm -hmm. I kind of was just... Okay, so let me tell y'all. <laughs> <laughs> um, go ahead. I, I had this hit song, it's called 2 a.m. A mm -hmm. lot of people have heard it. Um, but what I didn't know is that you had to purchase the beat. Like, right. I, I really, I wasn't on my shit. I wasn't doing my research or anything. I was just dropping music. And I should have been making sure I owned it. Gosh. So before y'all just put all this music out here and make sure y'all, you know, 
the lyrics, like make sure you let it, you know, do all your paperwork yes. so that they know that's yours. The beat has to be yours because if somebody else purchased the beat and they make a song off your beat, then they get paid off, you know, your work. Facts. You got to get that paperwork right. Yeah. And I, I got a really good song and I don't even own the beat now. And so I've learned my lesson from that. This mm -hmm. year, I'm not putting out any music unless I own it 100%. Gotcha. That's a tough lesson to learn, though. But, I mean, you, you got through it, though. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. <laughs> so what can we look forward to uh, coming from you now? What you working on? Um, This new project I have is so not told. It's, it means a lot to me, and mm -hmm. it has a lot to do with what I've been through in this uh, last year that just passed, because this is when I really just started taking it serious mm -hmm. last year of 2020. Um, so not told is kind of like... Nobody going to give you the game for free. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Like, Facts. <laughs> you ain't lying. So, it's just, it's I, it's dope. I can't wait to put it out. I can't wait till y'all see it. Um, it's, it is taking some time because I'm all I got. I'm working by myself. Mm -hmm. And this shit costs. I don't have yeah. no investor. I don't Facts. have nobody putting anything behind me. I'm all I got. So, it's going to take some time, but it will be out shortly. So, so you working on it? Yeah. Definitely. So, so, what was the reason you moved down here to Atlanta? Um... I feel like there's more opportunities out here. Mm -hmm. um, if motherfuckers gonna hate, they gonna hate. That is still the same. Like, yeah. I do feel like it was some haters back at home. And I do feel like it's some haters here. But I just, I gotta run into the right people. That's mm -hmm. all it is. Because, it, it, like I said, it's a lot of good opportunities out here. And I really think I can make it out here versus there. Mm -hmm. Because when I came out here the last time, I had a competition. And... Okay, so this is the thing. Back at home, I wanted all my people to come out and support me. And mm -hmm. that's that's cool. But when I came out here, I realized nobody in the crowd knew me. And yes. so when I got out there and I did my shit and people were cheering for me, that's the type of energy I want because they don't know me from a can of paint. Family going to support me regardless. They probably won't even tell me when my shit is trash sometimes because they family. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, so they yeah. just going to always be there. I need people that don't know me from a can of paint. And Atlanta is perfect. I don't know anybody. Don't nobody know me. Mm -hmm. So if they fucking with me, I know they really fucking with me. Facts. You know so you said you had a, a song that was like a hit. Was it like a Detroit hit? Like local? Yeah. Type situation? Yeah, it's almost at 30,000 views. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I just posted that last year, May of 2020. Mm. What um, what was the experience like watching views go up? I know it was a, the situation ended up being messed up as far as yeah. not owning the beat and whatnot. But. Well, it was my first song that I dropped out, so I'm like, damn. Yeah. It made me want to go harder. <laughs> That's why I'm like, I really just started doing this shit because I was never going to take it serious. But mm -hmm. when I put that song out, and there's this dude, when I first, before I even dropped the song, I wasn't confident in the song. Mm -hmm. And there's this dude, he's like, I'm letting him hear the song. And he's like, this, he's like, this shoe? I'm like, yeah, he like. You're a fucking millionaire. I said, what? He's like, you're a millionaire. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, this is a hit song. Like, yeah. you need. To, he's like, I'll get you a fire video. I'll do this and I'll do that. But you got to give me 10% of your career. I'm like, hold on. Nah. <laughs> if you want, like, if you do want to invest in me with this music video, I'll give you 10% of what I make off that video. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But he wanted 10% of my career because he knew I was going to blow up. Yeah. But my thing is, I got the talent. You know what I'm saying? I put the work in. If you're just helping me, like putting the money behind me, yeah. I don't feel like you should get a big percentage behind my whole career. Unless you put money behind my whole career. Yeah, but if you're just putting it behind this one video, 10% of that video, I would agree with. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I'm just like... But after that, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to keep going. If he told me this, mm -hmm. I, I got something. And I'm not going to let it go. So So you ended up not, not dealing with him as yep, far I didn't as... Do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you see yourself in about two three years um i definitely see myself bigger than what i am but i probably won't be as big as artists in the industry because my thing is if someone comes to me with a million dollar deal or something like that i'm not going to take it mm -hmm. and my thing with that is is because I'm a real bitch. I don't got a million dollars right now. I would like a million dollars, but I don't have a million dollars. And if you give me a million dollars right now and you tell me, I'm going to put this into your career, you bring me back a million dollars. Okay, cool. In my mind, the first thing I'm going to go do, mama, we got a million dollars. I'm about to buy you a house. I'm about to buy all of us cars. This is going to be my mindset. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. if someone comes to me with a smaller amount, like $20,000 or something like that, if you give me $20,000, I could do a bomb ass project even if it's just like two 
bomb ass videos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna make that money back. You know what I'm saying? And then when you give me twenty thousand, because I've had twenty thousand dollars before, and I've spent it in a month. Man, that so, shit goes quick. Right. And so just imagine, <laughs> I've never had a million. So if you give me a million, I'm gonna trip the fuck out. It's, and then, like, so I'm like. If it was my money, I could do that. But you can't do that with somebody else's money. You really got to put that work in. So if you give me 20000 and I give you a bond project and I flip that money, I can give you back your money and then I'll have some money to start off, you know, yeah. my own little thing. And I can make my own million dollars Facts. and blow my own million dollars. Facts. So uh, being a female in the industry, how do you think it's different than being a guy? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... You gotta, you gotta give something to get something in return. Mm -hmm. Like I don't think it's as easy. Like a guy can just, it, it's so much easier for a guy. Mm -hmm. Like as for a woman, if for a woman it's easier if you showing like all your body and stuff, you know. But me, I'm a small girl. I don't really have all of that. I do feel like I'm a beautiful person. Like I do think I'm beautiful inside and out. But I just feel like I don't have big butt, a big butt and big boobs. So <laughs> yeah. People won't really click into my shit like they will click into Cardi B. You know what I'm saying? Cardi B bomb as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, her body is like, it's perfect. You know what I'm saying? And her music is dope. She got all of that. And then it's just me. Like, I pretty much just got the good music. And I got a pretty face. But I feel like I would have to change who I am to fit in. And I don't want to do that. Oh, okay. So you're not with like all the surgeries and yeah, stuff? Yeah. You I'm just want to keep it. That. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that though. I mean, at the end of the day, you got to be yourself. You don't want to be something you ain't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I just feel like it's it's easier like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> for real. I don't know. You just feel like it it's easier. Be yeah. <laughs> but I'm not knocking anybody. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Y'all bomb as fuck. Period. Yeah. Just, just me, I wouldn't. No. <laughs> I feel you. So what, what you think, uh, how you think you're different than other female artists that are in the industry right now? I'm learning to, like, not care what anybody thinks mm -hmm. i'm just i'm gonna put that shit out there if you fuck with it you fuck with it if you don't i'm not about to kiss no ass i'm not about to suck no dick <laughs> to make my way up to the top i'm not doing none of that none of that i'm just gonna i'm to a point where i'm demanding respect Thanks. period i'm not going out the way to make it to the top i'm just i'm gonna put the real me out there and you take it or leave it period <laughs> just, like i said can't be nothing but you yeah so, so. So how old you start rapping? I've been rapping since I was like 10 years old. My very first song, there was this talent show coming up, and I did this song called Bubblicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, i kind of just been rapping ever since then. But like I said, I've never actually went into a studio and recorded anything until I was 16. I moved to Omaha, Nebraska, mm -hmm. and I was doing this freestyle to this dude. His name's Mr. North, and he's like... You need to get in the studio. So he gave me this fee. I go in the studio. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of feeling this. But then I got into a relationship and that kind of threw me off. Gotcha. So I didn't take that serious at all. I didn't, it, we'll get to it. Can't, can't, <laughs> miss, can't mix the business with pleasure. Yeah. Right? And it don't work out in the end. Yeah, and I just, I wasn't focused once I got in that relationship. But once I got out of that relationship, I moved back to Detroit. Gotcha. And I turned 21 years old. And... My dad passed away, like, a few mm. months after that. But before he passed away, he was telling me, like, you know, what happened to the music shit? I'm like, I don't really care for it. I'm not going to make it. I just wasn't confident in it. Mm. So when he passed away, I, I'm just like, damn, what would he want me to do? Mm. And I just got back to it. Mm. And look, I'm, I'm a lot further now. So I'm like, I'm definitely going to keep going. Facts. So what's the biggest lesson you learned from your dad? Um, don't stop chasing your dreams for nothing or nobody. Mm. Period. <laughs> Facts. That's what's up, though, man. It's good that he instilled that in you, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because a lot of people don't have that. You know what I'm saying? They have confidence issues and whatnot. So that's dope. That's what's up. All right. So what? What? Uh, what songs you got coming out right now that everybody can look forward to? You got titles and then the name for the song. Yeah. Um. Well, I just dropped one of my new songs, Dear Diary. Um, I'm looking to shoot a video for it out here mm -hmm. because I don't like the one I did in Detroit. Okay. But right now, I'm kind of just looking forward to putting an image behind the music that I do have out because I feel like that'll give me a better chance to blow. Like, people, it'll give them something to look at. Gotcha. Right now, I just got music with no image behind Thanks. it. So, yeah. And now I'm in Atlanta. This is the perfect place. You know, I'm, just, I'm looking for photographers and everything. I'm on everything. Trying to get out there. Man. Yeah. 
I'm gonna help you out. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on some folks. I'm gonna work it out. So as far as um, studio sessions, is there a particular place you like to record in Detroit? Um, hell of a studio is pretty nice. Uh, there's this other guy's name's Lyrique. It's mm-hmm. kind of like Lyric, but it's gotcha. Lyrique. And um, definitely Mike Thriller. Mike Thriller uh, produced 2 a.m. for me. Okay. And he has a, lot, a little studio in his house, and that's like one of my best songs. Hey, ain't nothing wrong so with that. So don't underestimate, <laughs> period, because he definitely did that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention a song that I do have coming out is Down to Ride. Okay. Uh, my brother's coming home in a couple weeks, and that's I want to put him on it. It's going to be dope. Real that's dope. what's up. I can't wait. I'm excited. So what inspired that song? Um, cause I, after being through all of this shit, like, cause he's a, he's a rapper too. And okay. I just kind of want to like, I mean, I'm trying to drill it in his head that everybody is not your friend. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just stick with the loyal people in your life. Cause a lot of people will come in your life and they'll be the devil in disguise. Thanks. And like me, I'm a real one on your team. So I just feel like he don't need, he need to just work with me. Period. Mm. That's so. it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't trust nobody. Thanks. So, what's something that your fans don't know about you, but you would like them to know, like a person, something personal? Um, it's I'm, a hard one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a hard one. We we gotta come back to that question. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your process when you go in the studio? Do you like? freestyle or you okay. write or how you do it so first of all i don't like to waste time or money gotcha. okay that's my biggest thing so like people i see people in the studio and they're in there and they're rapping and i go in there just like you said when i did first take okay yeah, hell yeah. i do everything at home okay i'm gonna make sure it's perfect at home so when i go in the studio i can just kill it period Knock like that one out. take and i'll be straight in every you can ask every studio guy i've worked with it only took one take and i only had to go back for like atlas and shit like that yeah but i like to go ready i'm always ready for everything period that's the way you gotta be though yeah. you know what i'm saying you just never know who <laughs> you could run into you know what i'm saying or who who's there you just always gotta be ready facts yeah that's man, you don't know how important that is for real for yeah. real <laughs> so as far as uh performing are you, are you nervous before you perform, or are you pretty much just solid with it, or how you feel about performing? Okay, so my very, very first performance that I had in Detroit, mm-hmm. I left, and I cried in the what? car, because, <laughs> okay, so because I didn't really have any support there, and so when I got up there, I'm like, oh, no, I can't do this. This is my very first time. I'm like, no, I can't do this, and the reason why I cried is because I felt like I wasted time and money, and those are two of the main things yeah. I don't like to waste, gotcha. and so I'm like, damn, and then it's like, it's embarrassing. You know, at that moment, I'm embarrassed to say, like, damn, she's scared. She can't do it. Mm -hmm. And so I told my sister and she like, girl, fuck everybody. It don't fucking matter what people think. You just go up there and you kill the game. She said, if don't nobody come next time, I'll be the only one in the crowd. And so my very my next performance, um, a lot of my people came. Mm. And so I was a lot more confident then. And so when I got up there and, you know, at first I was shy as fuck. But when I got up there and I started rapping and the whole crowd was singing my song. And this was my very first song, 2 a.m. Everyone was singing my song. And I'm like, okay, I'm not scared no more. So (laughs) after that, I'm just like, I got this. Period. I got this. (laughs) You got it now. Yeah. Straight with it. (laughs) But I was nervous when I first started doing the performances. But I came a long way from that. Facts. So this is a question I ask all artists that come on the show, but how do you feel about investing in yourself and and why is it important to you if it is? It's very important because ain't nobody going to do for you what you can or what you want. Like your dream is yours, not nobody else's. So if you want it, you got to get it. You know what I'm saying? Like ain't nobody else obligated to do nothing for you. Mm. If they do, be grateful and appreciative, but always have the mindset that you got to do it on your own. Cause ain't nobody else. At the, everybody got their own dreams. You think somebody gonna put their shit on pause for yours? No. Go all the way in. Cause when you make it to the top, motherfuckers gonna pitch in anyway. So yeah. just put you gonna and then you are gonna get all that shit back. So just do it. Like I said, that was my biggest fuck up. I should have been paying for my music, but I didn't have the knowledge at the time. But if I did, I would have invested in myself and I would have paid for all those beats. Mm. So now it's pretty much just out there to show my talent. I'm not getting paid for it. But okay. this year, I'm make sure I get paid for every project I put out. Invest in yourself. Period. <laughs> Thanks, it's gonna be to. worth it. Well, all right, we're gonna get up out of here though. I uh, appreciate you for coming through. 
We did that everything in one take, like you said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's all love. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for having me, y'all. Uh, oh, right. make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Detroit Monroe. All right, I'm gonna put the link in the description. Gotcha. Say less. That's Chavez Crew, boy.